We like to bring Nurse Danny in from Intermountain Moms to answer frequently asked questions, and today we're talking about circumcision. So, Nurse Danny, thank you for being here. My pleasure. First of all, what is circumcision, and are there pros? There are pros, and what it is is removing the foreskin from the head of the penis, and it's usually done when the baby's like one to ten days old, so sometimes in the hospital before they go home, sometimes a little bit later in the doctor's office. And there are pros. Um, it actually carries on into adulthood, so the uh, males who are circumcised have a lower chance of getting urinary tract infections, sexually transmitted infections, and actually penis cancer in adulthood. And are there risks? There are risks. Everything comes with, you know, risk benefits you have to wait out. Um, infection and bleeding mm -hmm. are the top ones, and then also there's a chance that they could remove too much or too little foreskin, oh, and it dear. can also damage the penis. I mean, but the complications only exist one out of every 200 procedures. Okay, so, so that's pretty, lower than pretty 1%. small. Okay, and how is it done? Um, there's a few different techniques, but basically what they do is numb the baby. This is important for all parents to understand. Okay. So they use a topical cream or a shot, numbs the area, and then the doctor cleans it and uses some special instruments to remove the foreskin. And then they talk to the parents about how to care for it because it leaves like some very raw looking sad skin. Aww. So you usually put like some petroleum jelly on it with some gauze mm -hmm. and you change it as needed for about a week and then see the doctor again to make sure everything's healing nicely. Now is the best time to do it when they're newborns? Yeah, if you're going to do it, that is the best time to do it. Um, it gets more complicated as the child gets mm -hmm. older, and so it's, it's not as complicated when, when, they're, they're, when they're first mm -hmm. born. What does the American Academy of Pediatrics say about it? Um, they haven't taken a strong stance on it, but what they have said is that because there are medical benefits it, and also a few risks, they say that parents who choose to do it can totally do it, and it's usually just left up to the judgment of the parents, and mm -hmm. most make the decision based off of cultural and religious preferences. Yeah, okay, so just mm -hmm. off of that. If you want to do it, you can do it. If you don't want to, that's okay too. And if someone is on the fence, what would you tell them? I mean, is there somewhere they can go find some more information? Yeah, I would say um, look at the American Academy of Pediatrics. Mm -hmm. They have some more specific information about it. And ultimately, talk with your pediatrician. And a lot of people have questions about the specific procedure. They mm -hmm. can explain exactly what's done. Maybe put your mind at ease if you're wanting to do it, but you're you know, hesitant about putting your little guy through that. Right, right. Okay, and if people have questions for you, where do they go? Facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms. Okay, Nurse Danny, thank you so much. Thank you.